Hey, this is Phil with Filmora and welcome back to the YouTube marketing series. In this video, we're getting started diving right into YouTube and we're going to be covering the YouTube channel. So let's get started and look at my channel and some of my favorite channels to see what options YouTube gives us to design your own channel. So at the top, you can see that we have our banner and then we have an icon. This is your thumbnail. We're going to be creating and designing this art later on in the course because they actually have some great templates that you can use using Photoshop or I'm going to be showing you a free program called canva.com that you can use to design your channel art. Right here, I use my profile pic. It's a picture of myself, which I think is, it makes my channel more personal. With my channel art, the banner at the top, I use my channel colors or my brand colors. This turquoise green, it's one of my favorite colors and I use it all throughout my website and my brand. Down below, you can have links to some of your favorite websites. So I have my home website, Video School Online, and then links to my courses on Udemy, my Facebook page, and my Twitter page. Down below, you can see when you're logged in that you can choose to view the channel as yourself or as a new visitor or a returning subscriber. So let's go ahead and view it as a new visitor. When a new visitor views my channel, you can see that it's actually the channel trailer that pops up. And this is something that I encourage people to make, a channel trailer that just welcomes people to the channel, tells them what it's about, and encourages them to subscribe. There are different tabs on your channel so people can view all of your videos, they can view your playlist, they can view channels that you have and other people that you subscribe to and you could make this public or private if you want. You can have discussions of people uh, post questions or comments on your channel page and then you have your about tab. This is where you can explain more about what your channel is. You have your contact information for business inquiries. You have links. These are also the links that show up here. And then it just has stats for your network. So for my network, I have two channels under this one username. We have over two and a half million views, over 400 videos, and almost 30,000 subscribers. Actually, for all of these tabs over on the right side, we have these, this sidebar that has other channels, we have related channels, and we have a support button. This is a button that you can add to your channel to ask viewers to support you. So if I go back to home, on your home channel, you can choose what types of videos to show down here. I have all of my uploads, I have different playlists, so video creation tutorials, motion graphics videos, photography tutorials, and I organize it this way so that people can easily find what they're looking for. You can see that you can also or have the videos show up in different ways as a string of videos from left to right or this, these two columns. So these two columns, it breaks it up a little bit more. You have the description of the videos right here too. So let's look at a couple of my other favorite channels just to see what they're doing. So Mike and Lauren, they're one of my favorite YouTubers. They put out some great content and they're very similar to me in the sense that they put out videos on all kinds of things, personal finance, how to DIY. And here you can see in their channel art that they have their YouTube upload schedule. On Fridays, they upload personal finance videos. On Sundays, they do how to and DIY vlog videos. For them, they have this nice picture of them in their channel art, and then for their icon, you have their logo, which is actually their website, which is a cool idea too. So people know wherever, whenever they see your profile pic, it's mikeandlauren.com. You can see that they organize their playlist down below in a bunch of different ways, and so it's easy to get to the playlist that you, you like. They link straight out to their Instagram and their Twitter feed. Caleb Wojcik, this is another video creator that I really um, admire. He does some great high quality, quality videos and his subscribers are really increasing. These are people that are similar to a lot of you in the sense that they're not big businesses and they're not the hundreds of thousand subscriber vloggers that are YouTube stars. They're people who are generally on the upswing and they're, they're growing and they're doing YouTube right. So Caleb uses the same strategy that I do. He has his profile pic or a picture of himself up at the top in his icon and then he has his, his banner. With all of ours, you can see that we have our 
brand name, our channel name in the banner. Mike and Lauren, it's just their name, so it's just a photo of them, but DIY video guy, and then their tagline down below too. Caleb adds a lot of channels that he likes, so you can customize what this title says. You can also customize it to just have channels that you like and you wanna share. So that's kind of cool. He has a lot of links up here too. This is a great way to have a lead magnet right here. Start our free gear course. So anyone that goes to their channel, it's not a direct link to their website. This is a call to action to join their free course. That's a great idea. The bucket list family, you can see that they have a great overall brand strategy, lovely colors. You know, it's out there. It's these rainbow bright colors, but it's it's great and it works for them because if you look at all their videos, it's all cohesive and that's what you want in a channel. You want a cohesiveness in not only your channel art, your icon, but also in your thumbnails. They really deserve more subscribers than this. They have over 30,000, uh, but they put out great new videos every Sunday. And then lastly, Modern Builds. This builds, this is just another idea for including your logo both in your channel art and in your icon. You know, on the channel page itself, it doesn't look amazing. I don't like that it's sort of duplicated, but how many people are really viewing the channel page compared to the people that are seeing your logo elsewhere? Every comment you make, your logo is going to appear. So it's nice to have your logo so it starts to you know, get in people's minds. They start to recognize it when you're commenting on people as well. And this guy does a lot of great videos. He's focused on just woodworking DIY projects and he's got over 100,000 subscribers. So a really focused channel and really high quality stuff. So this is the channel page. This is what you can do. You can customize your own channel. We're gonna be working on the art. We're going to be working on the profile pic. Whenever you go to your channel page and you're viewing it as yourself, you can basically adjust any of these things right here. So you can see that the all of these different playlists have this little edit button. So when you click on edit, you can see what type of content and how it is portrayed. So if I want all of my uploads in a vertical list, I can do that. And you can see that it's this column list. So that looks kind of cool actually. If you wanna add a new playlist or a new section, you can just click add section down at the bottom. And when you're starting out, you're not going to have any sections. So you're going to have to do that. You select your content first. You can see that you can choose anything from your videos, you can post your live streams, you can do playlists, you can do channels that you're subscribed to, and then you have your different ways to lay out. The other thing you can do is edit your channel art just by clicking on these edit buttons right here. And this is also where you edit your links that appear right here. Over here on the right hand side, you can edit your sidebar so we can add or remove modules so let's just say edit module and this is how we change the title of this channel section so this is where if you have other channels or like channels or channels that you partnered with and you want to promote this is where you can do it and you just enter their url right here click add and then name this for me i'm just adding our other channels and then i also enabled related channels and I like doing this just because it's a community. YouTube is a communal place. So I, I don't choose who shows up on here. YouTube does it automatically for me, but it's a way to kind of give back and give back to other subscribers. Your channels are going to appear on other people's related channels. So I think it's fair to enable it on your own channel as well. Okay, I hope you enjoy checking out those channels and really see now that there are so many different ways that you can design your channel to make it your own. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.